Yes, it's our first. And in France in general? Second time in France. We performed two years ago at Karen's Festival. On est venu il y a il y a deux ans, c'est notre deuxième fois en France. And how uh, how is it in France for you? What what's your uh, audience like? Comment est votre public ici en France? I mean, it's definitely growing. You know, and we give thanks. We get a lot of love from France, so looking forward. Oh, on aime le le public français. Donc on a hâte. It's growing. That's very good to hear because we all we all really really enjoy your music. Your music is very uh, positive. What is it like to be doing that sort of music, making positive music in today's world and in, in the music industry now? I mean, we see ourselves as love ambassadors. You know? <laughs> we see it as our duty to spread love to the world and uplift humanity. So for us, it's our life experiences that we are, we are writing about and singing about and definitely it becomes a, a, a part of our lifestyle rather than just being a job so it's good it's easy <laughs> Alors, on est vraiment juste des ambassadeurs de l'amour et la, la musique qu'on fait ça, ça vraiment ça nous représente and how did you um, all get together and meet um, each other and especially given that you share the same message, was it difficult to find people to play music together which share, who share the same outlook on life? Comment est-ce que vous vous êtes rencontrés? No, <laughs> we we enrolled. We all enrolled at the Edinburgh School of Music and Visual and Performing Arts in Kingston, Jamaica. You know, and we were we were all classmates and stuff like that. And it happened that we share the same vision of not wanting to be just a backing band, but, you know, a self-contained group and do our own music. So, you know, it, it worked out easy. We are friends and family and, it, and school, yeah. <laughs> en fait, on était ensemble dans, le, dans la même université à Kingston. Et euh, voilà, on est venus euh, amis et voilà, on fait la musique. I think I went there. Not I didn't study there, but I've been there. I've been shown that school. There's lots and lots of talented people that come out of that school. Yeah. How did you, uh, what, what was it like? Was it like fame going there? You know, was it lots of people singing in the, in the corridors and <laughs> making music at lunchtime? Yes, every day. <laughs> so, yes, every day. I had a um, music school and there was a dance school and a drama school, theater. Right. So you find that everybody was always on a stage, every day. Must be exciting. Must be very exciting. So tell us um, about you. Also have a record label, don't you, where you put your music out? Yes. What made you want to do that? You have your own music company. As I said earlier, you know, we are we are a self-contained group. So Raging Fire Production. We saw that as the means to get our music out, or produce our own music. Plus, there are other artists that we want to showcase. You know, give them the chance to get their music out there. So, we so saw it as best to just keep our production company going. On pense que c'est la, la meilleure façon de sortir notre musique et de sortir la musique euh, des gens qu'on qu découvre aussi. And is it difficult doing the business side of things, or is it does it come naturally to you? I mean, it's not difficult, but it didn't come natural. <laughs> <laughs> Had to learn along the way. Yes, we had to learn from the people who did it before and also read a lot of books and make mistakes also. Yeah, but it's comfortable now, you know? We're learning every day. La question is, est-ce que c'est difficile de mener le business et de faire la musique en même temps? Il a dit que non, c'est tout est faisable, mais que voilà, ils ont fait quelques erreurs au début, ils apprennent sur le tas. I'll take this opportunity now to throw it out to the uh, audience here, the press, the NSFS press. Does anyone have any questions for Raging Fire? John is over here. He'll pass you the microphone. Any burning questions for Raging Fire? They're quite, listen, you are the first interview of the festival. So these, they're very timid right now and they need some warming up. They need to sit closer to the raging fire, obviously. 
But um, let's move on. What is next for Rage and Fire? You're doing some tours here. What, what do you have planned? Qu'est-ce qui se passe pour vous euh, maintenant C'est quoi les, les prochaines étapes I mean, we just released our album, Destiny. You know, for you, we are putting an exclusive box set. So it's Judgment Day and Destiny album. So right now, it's just about promoting the album, doing some tours. You know, we did, we are finishing our two-month tour here in Europe. We moved to UK and Canada, Jamaica. You know, so it's just about keeping the shows going. <laughs> Euh, donc on vient juste de, de sortir notre dernier album, on vient de sortir un box set exclusif et euh, du coup on, fait, on est en train de faire la promotion de, de ça en, en tournée. Et, voilà. um, we have a question from uh, Lenny Hi again. Uh, maybe you could tell what's the difference between this and the album you just released and Judgment Day, which is from some years ago because you were told, telling me that you have more material your music have matured and in which sense did you develop your music in this new album? Alright, so we have Judgment Day and we have Destiny. Judgment Day was our debut album in 2011. You know, it it was more geared to to one searching themselves and finding that that true self. Don't don't not running away from from yourself, you know. So each person was basically given a test to judge their own character. You know, destiny after judgment day you must you must now know where you're going. Or choose a path where you're going. And that's what we really did. We put the lyrics was geared towards celebration now, you know, giving Jah the glory, you know, for the rough times that we have been through and all of that and and just Happy, <laughs> moving the barriers and, and, and being happy. Right, I think this will be a good time that we will wrap up this interview. Thank you so much for coming and talking with us here in SS Press. Good luck with your set. Everybody is ready fire. Let's all right. Thank you. Merci.